Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's the day we're heading out and we're going to the Royal Norfolk Show at 2022. So I've got my tickets here, I've got the show pass, we've got the 135 on the back of the trailer. Unfortunately, the Defender needs a, needs a, a new prop shaft part. So that's going in um, at the end of this week and we can't tow with it at the moment. So instead, we've, we've decided, as you can see, to take the 6R. So we've got the, front, the box on the front as well. Put my tickets over there. We've put all of our parts and everything for the show in the front box this year. And we've got a shelter, we've got some camera equipment, we have got some weights to hold our events tent down. And we've also cut up some logs for some posts around the tractor. So it's all coming together. So off we go. All strapped on, tied this on earlier today. Made sure everything's fastened. Securely tightened on there. Okay, right. Have we got everything? Event shelter. Check. 135. Stand. Post for the stand. Weights. Ugh, chairs. I need to bring some chairs. Okay, we've got some chairs. Well, a chair. I'll bring the other ones tomorrow. Um, but let's go, let's go. Let's head off to the show. We're at the show, we're at the show ground. The atmosphere is fantastic this year and I can't believe that we managed to get this stand by Anglia Demolitions Viewing Tower. So if you want to know where we are tomorrow, we'll be here at the, uh, at the viewing tower, at the viewing tower, just next to Anglia Demolitions. So you won't be able to miss us. Um, we've got to get the 135 off, we've got to get the stand set up, we've got, to, we've got an events tent to put up. So there's loads to do. We'll eventually learn. I had to put some knots in the ratchet straps when we uh, strapped this tractor on the trailer so that we don't damage the paint. Can't believe the uh, stand we got this year. We cut up earlier to go around the 135. I was looking in a brochure earlier for this um, this tent, and it said it was an easy to pop up tent, and I could put it up in five minutes. But it's actually quite a complicated one. It's going to take me a long time to put this up. So I'll catch you when the tent's up. So we're getting there. I've just put the events tent up. We've put that over the 135 just to, for tonight because tomorrow um, is of course show day. We're back in the trailer up now um, to the back of the stand and then we're going to bring the Defender over to one side, the 6R on the other side. We're going to put the, stand, the events tent in the middle and then the 135 will be out of the front. I've got a lot of respect for people who do shows now because this just this afternoon bringing this all up here and getting everything organised. You look up there, there's the viewing tower. We've got some planes flying over this afternoon over the showground. Um, it's going to be a lovely, lovely day tomorrow. I believe it's 23 Celsius. We've got a lovely bit of weather. And uh, of course, the day after that, I believe it might rain in the afternoon, hence the shelter to protect the 135. And if you do want the stand number, we are on stand number 322. So we're going to be serving some refreshments tomorrow. And I've just got to get this back around now and then bring up the Defender. Well, 
Well, it's all now finally starting to take shape. I had some electric fence posts which I brought down and one of them had broken, so I went back with the Land Rover and I also went and got a big table for underneath the, um, the events canopy, which you can see behind. And um, unfortunately, one of the electric fencing um, poles broke, so I went and got some more of those. I also bought a, uh, a big bundle of this rope to go around the 135 because we didn't really want people jumping all over it and ruining it, so we've got a bit of rope to put around it. And um, it will hopefully do the job and stop people from obviously um, just jumping on the 135 more than anything. I've just got to move the events canopy back a bit more and then we've got a bench to put in there and a few bits of history about the 135s and stuff and some sweets and all that good stuff. So. <laughs> had this old table on the farm for years and I think it was originally made out of an old potato crate but it's lasted about 30, 20, 30 years and it's always done the job of shows. Now I wanted to bring a bit of the farm down here so in a way I wanted the, the stand to be a bit shiggy shabby so I bought some pins from the tractors to hold the poster on the table. So it just looks a little bit more like it's from the farmyard. Now this is a classic tractor magazine I saved about nearly 10 years ago now and it has a really great piece on restoring 135s and bringing them back to life. And unfortunately I haven't got any pictures or details on the stand of R135 but I have got a chap who did a really good job of a very similar tractor um, so I'm going to put that on the table it's one I've been keeping in the archives back at the farmyard all about 135 restorations and how it's usually done over a year And we're also giving out some sprites and coca-cola tomorrow so that's going to be quite fun we've just got to uh, keep it in the fridge tonight and then we'll be back early in the morning at about half past six we've then got an interview with uh, uh, bbc look east breakfast um, so tune in to the bbc news in the morning at seven quarter past seven you'll see us here at the stand and we'll be talking to the bbc about ollie's farm and the journey and when we started all those years ago we'll be talking about the lockdowns and covid and how the channel kept going and how we were able to function um, because many years ago I used to do farm tours on the farm and um, since doing Ollie's farm I've stopped doing the farm tours and it's not now all online so it's quite interesting really to see the way it's gone and I never to be fair get to interact with a lot of the audience because it's always online and we're always off somewhere or on the farm working so we rarely get to interact with you guys so tomorrow um, will be a fantastic opportunity for everyone to come down meet us at the stand here you can see the 135 you can see the John Deere you'll be able to see the Defender you'll be able to come over have a drink if you're a subscriber just show us that you're subscribed on the YouTube channel and you'll get a can of coke or some sweets or whatever you'd like um, from the goodie box so we've just got to lock the tractor up tonight that'll stay here the 135 will stay here there's security going around all the time there's also um, just literally right over there the army um, <laughs> the, the Royal Navy and the army are just over there and I did have a word as I was coming back with the Land Rover to them um, could you just keep an eye on the 135 so they they said they would and they've got some big uh, some big kit so they'll uh, look after it for me I'm sure so with that I hope you're enjoying your week whatever you're up to do come on down to the Norfolk show tomorrow it's going to be a fantastic couple of days and it's always a great time at the Royal Norfolk show come rain or shine it's always a great day out for the family there's lots to see here there's livestock there's cattle sheep pigs whatever you'd like to see goats chickens all sorts of different livestock um, rabbits and reptiles and whatever you like there will be something here for you um, there's also tractors there's the biggest tractors and the smallest tractors like our one there's construction equipment there's cars there's electric cars as everybody's getting into them nowadays there is just so much stuff here it's unbelievable and i will catch you all over the next couple of days here at the royal norfolk show click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another ollie's farm video